Like it or not, e-bikes are becoming a thing, a big thing. That's right, mountain bikers are all over them. People who just use bikes for transport are all over them. I mean, they help to carry the shopping, they help to carry the kids, or they just help to carry people up hills easier and faster. Yeah, but what about e-bikes for sport on the road? Now, I can completely understand why a mountain biker might want some assistance hauling a heavy full suspension bike up a hill into uncharted territory. But what about us road riders? Well, yeah, it is a very good question. So, to try and get a little bit of insight, we have devised a test. We're going to tackle the route of the medium maritona, which is an absolutely classic ride here in the Dolomites. It actually makes up the medium option at the famous Maratona de los Dolomites Gran Fondo. It certainly does. It might not sound much, but it's 106 kilometers in length with an punchy. elevation gain of 3,130 meters. Very punchy. And you, Simon, well, you're going to be doing it on a top-end road bike, and I, well, I'm going to be doing it on an e-bike. Eat my dust, Richardson. Now, before we get going, let's take a closer look at what we're going to be riding, shall we? This is Matt's bike. It's the Giant Road E Plus One, and actually, it's Giant's top of the range road e bike. You'd be familiar, though, I'm sure, with most of the components on here because it is very much a road bike after all. So, he's got a Shimano Ultegra drivetrain, the frame is Giant's Alu XX SL Aluminium. And all the next level stuff, though, is right there in the oversized down tube. So the battery is there with enough juice for a 500 watt hour. And then that comes courtesy of 40 lithium ion cells. The motor down here is from Yamaha, which I'm sure is going to make any e-bike skeptic even more uncomfortable at the mention of a name so closely associated with motorbikes. But that is no motorbike. It is a pedal assist bike, meaning that it's not going to go anywhere unless there's a rider on there actually turning the cranks. And then what's it up against? Well, me unfortunately, with nowhere near enough juice for a 500 watt hour. But all is not lost because this is my bike, the ever lovely giant TCR Advanced Pro Zero, weighing in comfortably at about 11 kilograms less than Matt's e-bike. And yes, my batteries can also run down, but I'm gonna do my best to recharge them en route. You ready, Matt? Yep. Is this, is this technically a race? You bet it is, mate. Whoa! Woohoo! Show! Way up, mate! Hey! Matt! Now, first up, there is a limitation to e bikes in some countries anyway, and that is that they're actually restricted to 25 kilometers an hour, meaning that if you want to go faster than 25 kilometers an hour, there's going to be no motor to help propel you forwards. No, so that means that on a brisk ride like today, there's going to be some sections on this rolling road where I suspect Matt's going to have to work pretty hard in order to get that heavier bike to keep the pace. But before we start to let ourselves think, well, hang on a minute, that's not up to much. We should probably try and answer a pretty fundamental question. And that is just who is an e-bike designed for? Yeah, that is a good question. And there are a few clues on the bike itself. Now, first up, it's got a very relaxed geometry. And secondly, it's got a very long wheelbase, which is great for riders new to the sport because it inspires them with the added sense of confidence and control at higher speeds. Now, it's also a very versatile bike indeed. I'm riding 32 millimeter tires and that offers fantastic grip and also wonderful comfort. And in addition to that, the frame has bosses for a rack and also a mudguard. Now, this bike doesn't pretend by any stretch of the imagination to be a top end road bike. But could it be? Well, we could just about find out. All right, go on then, mate. Easy. I can't get rid of him. He's like the Terminator. Okay, Matt, seriously, mate, have you given any thought at all to your battery? No, well, I've got a full charge, so I'm just going to go flat out. Flat stick. Well, hang on a minute, mate. I was thinking about this. There's 43 and a half kilometers of climbing, so that's going to take you not far off two hours. So, if you're relying on more than 250 watts from that bike, then I think on that last climb, you might be running pretty low on juice. Look, to be honest with you, mate, most of this speed is just raw talent.
Okay, I'm not that naive. I have actually given this a little bit of thought. Now I've got three options at my fingertips. Eco, normal, and power. And for most of the time, we're gonna be using eco. Now my plan is to drop Simon on the climbs. Now let's face it, I could drop Nari Quintana at 25 k's an hour. So I'm imagining I'm gonna have a pretty big gap by the top of this climb. And I must admit, I'm also looking forward to the descent because the stability that this bike gives you will mean that it's gonna feel like I'm descending on rails. Bring it on. Hey mate. Hey Finley. I thought I'd have a nice coffee back there. You had a brew? Yeah. yeah. I wonder why you were behind. Oh, a nice cappuccino and a croissant. Oh. It was really nice, but uh, I must have I lost a bit of time back there after that cappuccino. I think I'm just gonna, gonna press on side. Hey, well, well, I'll see you a bit later. Bye mate. Twenty-five and a half kilometres an hour now on maximum power. I'd estimate I'm probably putting out maybe 200 watts. I can speak easily. This is probably giving me another 250, 300 roughly. Already really put a big gap into Sai. And I can't actually go any faster than this now. 26, 25K an hour. It's looking good. That really is a bonkers bit of kit. Just fantastic. However, I do feel I should perhaps defend the honor of the humble road bike at this point though, because this bike on this road in this incredible scenery feels every bit as amazing as you would expect. And in no way does the presence of an e-bike take away from that sensation. I don't think any dyed in the wool roadie should ever feel threatened by the presence of e-bikes. As much as I am indeed floundering in Matt's wake, and yes, I am eating his dust. But the fact is, although I might not actually want to set aside the time to ride an e-road bike myself at the moment, I do think they have a place in this sport. You're gonna be wired, man. Are you, Si? I'm fine, just having some strudel. You just wanna get a bit quicker, you do, I tell you. You wanna speed up a bit. Warmed it through.
might have had a slightly twisted and unfortunately very one-sided race here. That is masking an important point, and that is that that bike isn't designed for Matt or riders as strong as Matt. It's perfect for people that are less fit, allowing them to go further, to climb faster, and indeed ride with other people that may well be more fit. Yeah, well, even for a dyed-in-the-wool ride like me with a lot of miles under my belt, that was a lot of fun. Climbing was a quite amazing experience. Never climbed that fast before. It was a really unusual sensation, but a positive one. And then descending, I thought it was going to be good, but I felt like I was descending on rails. It gave me so much confidence. It was just utterly fantastic. I mean, these bikes really are a great level up. And think about the benefits of riding a really tough commute to work as well. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, with one descent still to go, put me out of misery, Matt. How much battery have you got left? Do you want to know? Yeah. 15%. 15%? Serious? That's actually, that's actually quite a good going, isn't it? Well, to be honest with you, like I said before, I didn't really use the motor that much. The old legs still feeling pretty good. Remarkable. Anyway, we'd like to know what you think about rise of the rise of the e-bike. You know what to do, leave your comments down below. Yeah, that should be a good down comment below. section. Now, do also make sure that you subscribe to GCN if you haven't already. Just click on the globe. And if you want more content, then why not get a bit more info on this bike here? Find out why it's such an icon just down here. Or for a little bit more e-bike action on GCN, we've got the GCN e-bike challenge that is just over there. You were the icon today, so I tell you, mate. Ah, oh, mate. Great riding, mate. Oh, too kind. Great riding. Oh, coffee. Oh, yeah. Swerving.